guys this is Jetta88 today I'm gonna to talk about the Xbox One since the Xbox One is gonna to release tonight at midnight now <clears throat> what can you expect with the Xbox One and towards a launch just gonna let you know now it's gonna be sold out I mean there's no way around it so for those that didn't pre-order their Xbox One yeah you're gonna have a hard time getting one um because it's a first come first serve basis all right now the system is going to be 499 the reason why it costs more than the ps3 because not ps3 <laughs> ps4 the reason why it costs more than the ps4 because the simple fact it comes with a connect and the connect it comes with every xbox one console um to me I wasn't really a big fan of Connect. I didn't have it for my th Xbox 360. I didn't really care about it. I didn't. I definitely didn't care about the games that supported. Um, but yeah, Xbox One comes with a Connect now. Uh, Xbox Live is still going to be sixty dollars a year. So, I mean, if you're the type a person that likes online gaming, then Xbox Live is still going to cost you the same. It's not going to increase in price uh, I don't think Microsoft will have a I think they probably are gonna increase in price maybe in the future but as of right now I don't think they're gonna do it right now because Sony PSN is $50 a year and I don't think they're gonna increase the price um as far as games the games I would say that you should be looking forward to is Killer Instinct. I love Killer Instinct. My favorite game was Killer Instinct Go for Nintendo 64. Um, Jago. I'm just a Jago fan. Um, Glacius, he's pretty good too. And Orchid. Um, uh, some other games that you would look, you should be looking forward to is Rise. I I seen a live stream yesterday on Twitch TV. Somebody was playing Rise. Seen somebody killing a few of the elephants that were just strolling around. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. Um, Dead Rising 3, uh, Call of Duty Ghost, of course. Uh, I'm not really a big Call of Duty fan anymore because it's basically the same game every year. Just new up, you know, new couple graphical improvements, you know, here and there, new maps. And a couple new guns. That's about it. It's just basically the same thing. You get tired of the same Call of Duty. Now, hopefully, next year they have some kind of announcement about the new Gears of War. Hopefully, they develop. I don't know if they have anything in development right now for the Gears of War, but hopefully, I hear something towards that. Um, of course, Halo 5 will come out next year, so you should be looking forward to that for the Xbox 3, Xbox One. Um, and I mean, normally console launches their games normally suck. I mean, it's not showing off the graphical capability of the new consoles. Um, basically, it's just current gen games, and they're just porting over to the new newest consoles. Just you know, improving lighting effects, shadows, and things like that. Um, I would say, I would say to hold off on buying the Xbox One or your PS4 and just wait at least, you know, six months from now till they iron out all the kinks. I'm sure you heard about the PS4 having the blue light of death within like a week of launch so far. So, and I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if the Xbox One has some kind of issue with it by the time you get it. Just to let you know, you will have to download a day one system update, and it's required. And if you don't have internet, um, you're it's just gonna be you just you're just totally fucked because you won't be able to play your Xbox One until you hook it up online to be able to play your games. Um, basically, the patch just enables you to play games offline because you remember at the start, Xbox announced that. You, you have to be online all the time to play your single player games which I find very stupid because not everybody has 
internet in their home still to this day. Like for people that lives in the country, you know, um, they might not have the best internet that they want to use to play Xbox Live. <clears throat> so uh, basically, for those that are getting their Xbox One tonight, I would say you know try to get there as early as possible. You know, it's gonna probably be a long line depending on your location. Um, make sure that you have your receipt in hand. I can't, I can't stress that enough because if you don't have your receipt, then GameStop's probably gonna sell your Xbox to some extra person. And I'm pretty sure GameStop will have extra copies of the of the Xbox One because I work at GameStop. We did have a few extra PS4s and we sold out within like maybe 20 minutes 20 35 minutes which is ridiculous um if a game store or any other retailer such as Walmart Target they have extras make sure you I would try to call up there first and make sure if they still have the extras and try to get there as fast as possible because I, I try to call into a few other places last week for the PS4 and like every store I called they were just literally sold out and then then somebody told me that Kmart had a few copies few system copies of the PS4 and they and I called and they said they had like maybe two left and by the time I got up there it was just gone so you know Try to get your system as early as possible. Um, that concludes my thought of the Xbox One of what to expect for the midnight launch. And if you have any questions, please send me a mail, private message. Uh, you can tweet me. My Twitter name is Jettas88 with a S, Jettas. Um, you can also subscribe to me, rate, comment. So I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.